Good evening guys. Today we're going to go over the immunology of some diseases and this is Immunology Made Simple Part 1. Now, when we're talking about diseases in immunology, we're talking about usually B cells, T cells, or a combination of the two. So we're going to create three categories up here. The red for the B cell diseases. The green for the combination of B plus T cell diseases. And the blue, all the way in the end, for T cell diseases. Put that word in there. Now, the way we're gonna begin this thing is, when you begin anything, a good place to begin is with a name. So, we're gonna begin by starting with the names of these diseases, and these groups have a special meaning. So, when you're looking at diseases under B cells that have a special name, you're talking about Bruton's. That's the B cell disease. See the B for B cell, Bruton's? And what happens here is you have a defective BTK tyrosine kinase. And what that does is you can't mature your B cells. So you have immature B cells and we call those pro B cells. And pro B cells can't make antibodies, so you end up with defective uh, production and you have low IgG. All right, that's not so bad. Now, if we move over to the B and T cell problems and we're looking for the name disease, this is going to be the George. Now, the George, um, the George is a disease which is it's an inborn disease, and you have a mutation. And on chromosome 22Q11. And what happens with this disease is as a result of it, you don't develop your thyroid and you have chronically low calcium. So what you're gonna see is hypocalcemia. And pay attention to this. If you see an immuno condition with hypocalcemia, it's probably the George. That's what you wanna start thinking about. Start seeing if it matches up. Now the last disease in the category under T cell diseases here is going to be Wiscott Aldrich. Wiscott Aldrich. Which sounds to me like a snobby British person name, so or somebody formal. So I'm thinking of somebody wearing a tie whenever I think of this disease. I'm gonna draw this tie. Now why do we care about this tie? Because the tie gives us the triad of the disease. It's thrombocytopenia infection, and eczema. Now, once we are done with the names, like the next thing you wanna remember about a person you meet is what's unique about them. And since we're talking about antibodies, maybe each of these B cell or T cell problems, unique, special, something like that. This is a special category, the special antibody category. So in B cells, when we're talking about a B cell and you have an antibody problem, you're talking about selective, if it's a B cell problem, Ig deficiency. Now I put a blank here because it could be anything, but most of the time it's an A. And the way these people present is they usually tell you that there's a positive pregnancy test, BHCG positive, and that's because of a heterophil antibody. And what you are really looking for is a person maybe who came in a hospital and got a blood transfusion which had, which had IgA in it. And as a result, because this person is IgA deficient, their body thinks that IgA is a foreign antigen and attacks it. So think of a blood transfusion. And maybe anaphylactic reaction. I'm gonna put blood here because it's in red and this point is in red, so I want you to think about that. Now, under B and T cell problems, we're talking about E, and this one's called Jobs. Jobs syndrome. And when I say E, what I mean is IgE, and you have a lot of IgE. Now, in order to make IgE, who makes IgE? B cells. 
produce interleukins to make IgE. And in order to make IgE, we produce interleukin-4. Now, interleukin-4 is produced by Th2, or T helper 2 lines of cells, which are designed for fighting external threats. And so what happens is, because you have a big production of interleukin-4, it suppresses T helper 1 cells and prevents them from producing interferon gamma. So low interferon gamma means decreased ability to fight off certain kinds of infection. Now under T cells right here, in the blue, what we want to think about is IgM, hyper IgM syndrome. Now, what happens here? Why do you have all these IgM? Well, IgM is the first kind of an antibody that the beat cell makes before it class switched. So since we're making a lot of IgM, it's probably because we can't make anything else. And that's what's happening here. We're stuck. Why are we stuck? Because the CD40 ligand on the T cell, which is supposed to come over and activate the beat cells to produce these other things like IgE, which is decreased, or decreased IgA, it's broken. So you can't do that. So you're stuck making IgM and that results in infection. Now, over here, every person, they have a type. So in this case, each one of these diseases has a special kind of a, a type of a condition that you should think about. In, in uh, beat cells, they're common. So you have a common variable problem. Variable immuno deficiency. I hate long words, so I just think of it as CVID. And uh, here you basically, it presents as in 20 to 30 year olds, which is like if you see a person of that age presenting with an immunodeficiency, that should make you think about something. And you have a decreased Ig production, Ig something, because you have decreased um, B cells. And as you also have decreased plasma cells, which make antibodies, which makes it make sense you have decreased production. And for B and T cells, like the fancy disease that makes it its type, is the interleukin-12 problem deficiency. And what that means is interleukin-12, you need it to go from, before the T cell switches into either a type 1 helper cell or a type 2 helper cell, it usually gets acted on by inter, uh, interleukin. Interleukin-12 encourages this cell to become T helper 1 cell, which would presumably produce interferon gamma at some point, which would hyperstimulate macrophages and help the cells defend themselves. But in this case, that's not happening because interleukin-12 can't act here to encourage this happening, and you have basically this response, where you're going down the T helper 2 line because there's no uh, interferon gamma being produced. And again, it's just these two diseases, they're like brothers. It's a very similar result. Now in the T cells, the disease is very similar to group one, which is there you had common variable, here you have severe combined. Now, what does that sound like? Severe combined immunodeficiency. It sounds severe, it's bad. This is not something you see in adults. This is something you see right away in a child. And so this disease, what's going on here? Well, what's happening is you have no interleukin two, which the T cells need to activate themselves. Whenever they release interleukin-2, it hits the interleukin-2 receptors. These guys don't have these interleukin-2 receptors. So the T cells don't activate and they can't defend themselves. This is the bubble boy. The boy who anything he encounters will kill him because his T cells do not work. And the treatment for these people is a bone marrow trans uh, transplant because they won't have gross graft versus host disease because their T cells can't defend themselves. And also you want to think about a drug like cyclosporin whose mechanism of action is blocking calciurin in order to prevent this happening in cells intentionally. So we use this exact mechanism in some of our drugs where we're looking to stop rejection. Now for the fourth category of the disease, it's what I call it the whatever category because everything falls in this category. It's just something, a catch-all. Let's call it the weird category. And there's no weird category drug for B-cells. B-cells are normal. But when you combine B-cells and T-cells, you get the CMC, which uh, chronic mucocutaneous can the 
IS is. And I'm writing this in black, it should be in green, because it's in the category of B and T cells, but it's really a weird one. And really, if you see a candida infection, it's usually going to be associated with a B and a T cell problem, and I want you to think about this. Now, over here, the weird disease is ataxia telangiectasia. And this one, it presents with gait disturbances. I want you to think of people tripping children and falling and that type of a deterioration. And then I want you to have an Ig problem. A T